All right, so we have a 2004 Dodge Grand Caravan. The issue here is the lights are burnt out for the fuel gauge and the temperature gauge. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and replace those. There's two Phillip bolts up here in this inner cover. This snaps off. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and loosen these real quick. Get that out of there. Another one right here. Loosen that one. Okay, that's out the way. We'll snap this bottom piece. It just pulls on up. Snaps out of there. This inside just And this inside, it looks like it has some fill-ups here as well. One, two. Let's go ahead and remove those. Now that those are out, we should be able to pull this should just pop on out of here somehow. I'm going to put the key in the on position and switch this shifter down low to drive or something. And I also push this steering wheel down in the lowest position so we have enough room. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I'll put the parking brake on so it doesn't roll. Put this in L. Now we have enough clearance. I'm gonna pull up, pull this, and get this out the way. Make sure not to break anything. There we go. Now that that's done, we've got this exposed. And as you can see, there's a few bolts there, a Phillips, a Phillips, a Phillips, and a Phillips. Looks like it's four Phillips. Let me grab my screwdriver. See if I can crack these loose. One. Okay, so, so I got one of them fairly loose. Pull it out with my finger. Work on the other one over on this corner. Yeah, this thing's got a lot of mileage, 360,000. Loosen, loosen that little boat out. Two more left. One more left. All right.
right, so that's four bolts I got took off. And let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Pull on it. Pull on it. I can just do like this to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power off, take the key out the ignition. I'm going to unplug this connector. This has the kind with the little red clip. So you got to push it out first and then you can squeeze it. There we go. Got that loose. Now, I am going to put the key back in the ignition. Put it back to the... Put it back to the one position so that I can pull this bad boy out of here. Careful not to break anything against the edges and it'll weasel its way out. Perfect, here we go, we've got it out. Now, as we can see, here are the light bulbs back here that we are going to need to replace. All right, and now that we've got the cluster out, we can flip it over and you see all of these are light bulbs they simply twist in what I do is I grab a pair of pliers I grab them and then I just twist with the pliers they just pop right on out here are the little bulbs so we're gonna go ahead and replace them all out and I'll be back <laughs> 